All right, so this is the photo. So you may or may not know the Newburn clock towers, the clock faces, they're getting repaired and restored right now. And uh, so they've recently uh, been taken down. And so a uh, photographer very cleverly put this digital photo clock in here. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, and so Brian North of WCTI shared it. And he basically said, new four-sided clock tower, Newburn. City leaders want to move the historical structure into the digital age so millennials can read it. Spectacular photo and everything ah, everything else that goes with it, courtesy of the greatest photog ever. Uh, and then there's a disclaimer there uh, after the April 1st because they had to explain this now. And so the comments that came out of this was absolutely hilarious. So I'm sure some of these people uh, put a comment here, uh, basically an anti-millennial comment, um, like hating on millennials. I'm sure most of them uh, may have just been joking around themselves, but I'm sure some of these were genuine. And it's great because basically the Gen Xers were hating on the millennials here, not even realizing this was a social joke. So I'm just going to run through some of these and talk about these. Um, okay, here's a great one. Uh, Kimberly Whitaker Murdoch. I am dying over this post. Now the poor millennials are being attacked. Folks are making fun of kids for not being able to read clocks, yet they seem to be incapable of reading a calendar. Sorry you did not get the joke. Uh, Nicholas Green got the joke. Uh, this is probably my favorite one. Uh, <laughs> someone was like really, really upset by this. Absolutely nada. This clock is a signature one in our town. If folks can't read the clock, then go buy a book to help yourselves learn. Well, if they can't read the clock, maybe they can't read the book, though. That's kind of the problem. First, they remove this beauty, and next, they'll want to remove Tryon Palace. Leave historical sites alone. I mean, how did that escalate from the clock tower to just removing Tryon Palace? Like, how could you actually remove the entire palace? Because you changed the clock. I'm confused. Uh, Y'all do know this is April Fool's Day, right? Scott, you got it. Uh, so I think Kimberly was joking around. Is the chimney part of the snooze button? I think she was playing along with a joke here. Stop pampering the whiny millennials. Yeah, stop pampering us, please. Please stop pampering us. We'll, we'll, we'll stop showing you how to use Facebook. Why don't we teach the younger generation some basics, values, and proper respect in life? Oh, man. I, I, I just hope some of these were just going along with the joke. It, it, it would seem most of these aren't, though. But these are, this is just great. I, I had a great time reading these. Uh, oh, this was great. Clara got really, really clever here. Hum. How about learning how to tell the time by the big hand and the little hand? Why did I just do jazz hands, by the way? I feel like I just did jazz hands. The big hand and the little hand. Some of y'all straight up tripping and need to check the date on the calendar. Okay, Kimberly, you were in on the joke. Good job. Uh, let's see here. Whoever wants to change it should pay to have it done. Wasteful spending. I agree. I would agree that's facial spending. You know, in all seriousness, though, would anybody mind a digital clock on the clock tower? Like, what if it was just one side? It's a four-sided clock. What if one or two sides was digital clocks? And basically, analog folks would have to drive on the Pollock Street side, and then millennials would have to drive on the Craven Street side in order to read the clock. I think that's fair. Please say this is a joke. Please say this is a food joke. If they can't read it, Time to learn. Oh, I see what you did there. Pun intended. Time to learn. But if I can't read the time, then how will I know when it's time to learn? I'll be late. That's too bad. You got me big time, but I just saw an article saying they're changing the clocks in the schools because they can't read them. Is that true? It's actually kind of terrible. 
wait a minute, it needs to stay like it is. My grands are taught how to, my grand, like my grandkids? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean, like my grands? You can't even type out grandkids, like K-I-D-S, that's like a little too long, that's gonna take up too many, too many characters. Oh no, wait a minute, it needs to stay like it is. My grands are taught how to read a real clock. Really bad idea. Why enable, why enable those that can't tell time? Oh, okay, so now the city of Newburn is an enabler for the millennials, that's basically what's happening. And look at that, the man himself, Zach. Darn millennials. Oh, I like this one, this is a nice little pun. Hey Brian, looks like you got too much time on your hands. Thank you, Lisa, for the Back to the Future reference. Uh, when I saw them taking the clock faces off the clock tower, this was like the first thing I thought of. Um, I really thought someone should have done something fun with saving the clock tower. Unfortunately, I didn't see anybody actually do that. Um, oh, and I lost my place. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, so I think mostly everyone else got it. Oh, nope, I think we got another one here. That would be so stupid, but not surprising. That's the exact reason the millennials can't read a clock face. People catering to them. Really? Is it any question this generation can't tie their shoes, write a letter, count change? Wake up, people. Make them use their brain for something besides a hat rack. <laughs> What's the problem with hats now? Now we have a problem with hats. I can't wear a ball cap. What's the problem here? Let's see here. No, absolutely not. Learn how to read a friggin' clock. Watch your mouth there, Margaret. Watch your language. This is public media. If this is April Fool's, I'm not laughing. Millennial are going to be wiping my butt in a nursing home. I'm doomed. You know, that's that's a valid point there. I think we are all doomed. Uh, no wonder they're having a hard time recruiting machinists. You have to be able to read an analog caliper to take measurements. Also fact. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Oh, this is actually my favorite one here. Richard Toller. Debunked. They are still working on it. Thank God. Photographic proof right there. They're still working on it. There's no digital clock there. Debunked it. Thank you. Man, it went away again. Here we go. What is wrong with people? Why would you change it? I agree. Why would you change it? I like the way it is. Keep it the keep it the millennial clock way. Do they not teach telling and time in school anymore? Apparently someone else said they don't. They are taking the analog clocks away. I honestly think that's sad. That's very, very sad. I don't care what day it is. It would not surprise me a bit for this to happen. They get catered to in every other way. You know, in all seriousness, why do millennials hate Gen Xers so much and Gen Xers hating millennials so much? I don't understand why there's so much hatred. First of all, I don't really understand why there's so much hatred in the world in general, but... I mean, I guess I do understand, but in a way, I don't understand it. I just don't understand why the, like, for instance, let's say 200 years ago, the Gen Xers of 200 years ago and the Millennials of 200 years ago, how there was like, you know, there was an age gap. Were they at this much war with each other? I think it was just social media that basically created the war between uh, Millennials and Gen Xers. Because I, did, I don't remember this being such a problem where Gen Xers hated on millennials and wiping our butts and catering to us and, and whatnot. And by the way, I'm kind of on the cusp of a millennial and a Gen Xer myself. Uh, actually, I talked about this in the Charles Tendell uh, interview that I did with him uh, the other week. I'm 37 years old, which means I was born in 1982. Uh, which means I'm kind of on the line of basically when a millennial was born and when a Gen Xer was born. Uh, but in any event, um, yeah, can, can we just all just get along and come to an agreement? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. Let's just let's just stop fighting and let's just also pay attention to dates that this was just an April Fool's joke. A very clever one, by the way. I really, I really like this one. I also just really like that it made me think of Back to the Future. I'm a big Back to the Future fan. This is getting heavy, Doc. Uh, and this is getting uh, overboard. So I'm going to just end it here. I'm going to end on a high note, basically. 
And uh, if you thought this was uh, interesting, why don't you go ahead and share it? This is also going to get sent on YouTube afterwards. So, uh, but why don't you go ahead and share it on your Facebooks in case maybe one of your friends might like to watch this commentary. Otherwise, I'll see you later. Peace. How do I end this thing? Ugh, finish.